Right, so we're going to roll some barley today. Um, barley mixed with a bit of wheat as well. Um, I've got some down here, look. See it? So here's a, it's the leftover. This is a leftover uh, winter barley. A variety is uh, craft. And then we've got a little tiny bit of wheat down there. Not a lot. That variety's gleam. And then we've got this little heap over here as well. I'm about to uh, peck and put through the roller mill. So a little bit of wheat there. A little bit of barley behind it. I'm just going to use that. And we'll roll about 40 tonnes. That'll just, you know, help cattle through the winter. So we're going to... Uh, the main reason we roll it, it sort of releases it. Well, the cattle, when they digest it, they can sort of get to the uh, goodness in the middle of the... Uh, corn and uh, also it's good it's good for energy for the uh, cattle good goes well with a diet so i'm just going to show you how to uh, well how we each year put it through a roller mill so it, it sort of cracks cracks the corn open near enough turns it into flour so here it is kc 1250 bruiser this is a mill you see that auger on the back can either go left or right depending on where you want it you can also have, add additive to it as well additive to it I'll show the roller there's a the roller Here's the additive. Yeah, I am.
tons are doing. So it weighs it as it does it. So nearly at four ton. How much we've got in the hopper? So we've got 2.3 ton in the hopper. And the flow rate, so about 10, yeah, 10 kg a second. So at the moment that that mill there is doing about 28 ton an hour maybe it depends it varies on the average but about 28 to 30 ton an hour it'll do 34 somewhere around there but it depends what crop you put through it if you put wheat through it it will go a lot faster if you put beans through it it'll slow it right down barley is about you know what what this is at the moment about 30 ton an hour So that's it, first trailer, first trailer load nearly done. Didn't take very long. We're not putting additive with it this time because the corn's quite dry. So you probably only really need to put additive with it when the corn's maybe slightly got a bit of moisture in it and could possibly go rotten in the heat. Some people mix a bit of water with it if they're feeding it to calves to you know, stop the dust because it is obviously quite dusty. So this is the final result see a, little bit of, oh, see a little bit of wheat in there just crushes it in half a bit like flour really so we've flopped to this other trailer now the other one's full keep moving it backwards and forwards we've just adjusted the pressure as well if you saw earlier there was a little hydraulic jack on the side of the machine with a pressure gauge on it and you can jack that which pushes the rollers closer together or puts the rollers under more pressure so that it, it cracks the grain open more you can have them further apart whatever you want depending on you know depending on how fast you want it to go through as well So there we are, all roll, 30 tons of it. It actually looks like a lot more, but when you put it through the mill, it sort of fluffs it up. So what it, so imagine we had 30 tons there. When it's been through the mill, there's nearly twice the amount because it bulks it up so much. So there's a big heap there to keep us going through, uh, going through the winter. Good stuff as well. Yeah, really pleased. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video.